Hello and welcome to a new video review, this time about the Victor Optics rifle scope, the Continental 3-18x50. Victor Optics have their headquarters in China. They were founded in 2007 and in the first years they produced products for other companies as an OEM producer but in the recent years they started to focus on their own brand and so they introduced the Continental series of rifle scopes which are the most expensive but they have the most features and are the only series of rifle scopes which feature a 34 mm main tube. This particular scope features a magnification from 3 to 18 with a 50 mm objective lens. The entire scope is made out of metal with the only rubberized part on the ocular. The magnification ring feels very smooth and the magnification goes from smallest to the biggest in approximately 180 degrees. As I mentioned, the scope has a 34 mm main tube. The turrets are lockable with a push and pull design. They feature a zero stop function and a turn indicator. The scope is with 337 mm uh, very compact. With 820 grams it is also pretty lightweight. The internal of the scope is nitro nitrogen purged, which means the internals will not start to fog if you use it in cold environment. The scope is also shockproof up to 338 Lapua Magnum. And if something goes wrong, the scope has a 15 years warranty. The reticle is positioned in the first focal plane. VCT, it is a mill based Christmas tree style reticle with a small dot in the middle with a diameter of 0.2 mil. Because the reticle and the turrets are both mill based, this is a true mill mill tactical rifle scope. This dot in the middle can also be illuminated with the illumination control on this turret. It features six intensity settings. All are designed only for lower light conditions and are not daytime bright. And between each setting there is a off position in between. On the same turret is also the parallax adjustment which goes from 10 yards all the way to infinity. The Parallax is very fine tunable up to about 300 yards or meters and above the adjustment gets a little bit more delicate because you have to make really small moves for the perfect adjustment. Then the turrets are for this price range really nicely designed because both feature a locking mechanism with a push and pull design. The elevation turret features also a zero stop, a hard zero stop which stops exactly on the zero. The clicks are very, very positive and tactile and have a really nice feel to it. In one revolution of the elevation turret you get exactly 10 milliradians of elevation or 100 clicks and when you come to the second revolution a small pin pops out which is a visual and a tactile or mechanical turn indicator and when you come to the third revolution this pin pops out even further, so you know you are in the last revolution of this turret. This design 
is very good but in my opinion not perfect because in lower light you don't see or feel the difference between the second and the third revolution. When we come back we stop again at the zero stop which is very easily adjustable so when you're on the range you just make the, the adjustment you need for zero, uh, zeroing of your rifle then you lock the turret you screw out this middle part with the included zeroing tool then when you take the turret down there is a small um, screw inside which can be screwed back in the clockwise position until a small click appears. This means you adjusted your uh, zero stop so you just put the turret back on with the zero uh, towards the front of the scope you screw back the middle part and you're already signed in and the zero stop should or, uh, again work. The vintage turret has marks up to 5 mil in two both directions but the adjustments can be made even further because the turret does not feature a entire revolution no user error can be made for going back to zero into the wrong direction the total travel range of this particular scope is 44 mil which is extremely big but with this particular turret only 29 mil can be used for more elevation you would need to put this turret on which does not feature a zero stop function and no turn indicator with this particular turret you could use the entire elevation range of this scope now for the optics the magnification goes from 3 to 18 and it features a 50 mm objective lens this has this means this scope has a six times zoom factor and what is really special about this scope is the extremely big field of view on the three times magnification this scope features 13.6 meters of field of view at 100 meters this is more than some of the most expensive rifle scopes on the market have and all this in very good optical performance on the biggest magnification the field of view is 2.3 meters and this scope has no tunneling effect whatsoever the light transmission through the entire scope is more than 90 percent the eye relief is 10 centimeters and the eye box is very forgiving all in all i am very impressed with the optical performance of the scope and also the color accuracy is extremely good okay so what do you get in the box a user's manual lens protection a sunshade a cleaning cloth mounting rings for mounting on a picatinny rail which is really nice that Victor Optics includes these in the box in my opinion they are a little bit too high but it's still better than nothing 
then a zero in key, a warranty card for registering of your product, some advertising material, and lastly, this elevation turret, what I told before, with one you can use the entire elevation range of this scope and it does not feature a zero stop and a turn indicator. And lastly, for the sweet and sour part, what do I like about this scope? First of all, the overall build quality. It is very well machined, all the parts on the scope are nicely made, made completely out of metal, except for this part, which is rubberized. Then the well-designed turret with the push and pull locking mechanism. The turrets have, a really, have really nice clicks, which feel very, very positive and tactile. The easy to adjust zeroing stop, at least in one direction. The mechanical and visual turn indicator is a really nice addition to these turrets. Then the optical quality of the scope is really on a high level with extremely big field of view, which, as I said, can be compared to some of the most expensive rifle scopes with a similar magnification on the market. The reticle is very usable. The short package of this scope with 820 grams, the scope is also very lightweight and that Vector Optics includes mounting rings. It's also something you don't see often included with rifle scopes. And where do I see some room for improvements? First of all, on the magnification ring, these edges are quite sharp. In my opinion, even a little bit too sharp. It is perfect for better grip, especially if you use the scope also with gloves, but with, without the gloves it is a little bit uncomfortable. Then the turrets, the locking mechanism. It is very loud, in my opinion too loud because of the very usable magnification range I'm sure many of the users will use the scope also for hunting. And when hunting you should avoid loud unnatural sounds, especially a click like this. Again on the turret, where do I see some room for improvement is this wobbling of the turret. It's not a big issue, but I think it could be easily fixed by uh, Victor Optics. And lastly, the included lens protection, I would prefer flip-up covers. So, this was a short video review about the Victor Optics. Continental 3 to 18 by 50. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe to our channel, and check out also our other reviews and buying guides. Thanks for watching.